Oh, oh hello. I hear you. I'm coming to get you. You! You are mine. I'm Rolando! Aha! You cannot escape me! Get up! Rolando! Oh no! All right, what's up everybody? Tramata here. We're back with Rolando. We're in the tavern, we're in the pubs, bar, greasy spoon, best greasy spoon in Maljo. And we've got some wheels. If this is your first time joining us, we are just here in the early game giving some tips to newer players, trying to suss out some of the differences between this game and the old game. When I say the old game, I mean life before cars, life before animations. Ooh. Life before that screen, which I think is different than the old screen, I think. So, what are we doing today? What are we doing in general? Today, we're going to take these wheels and we're going to forge a new future oh, right after we go to sleep. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to decide where to build a base and we're going to get the materials we need to go and do that. Right now, we. Oh, yeah, it's dark. Uh, let's talk about light switches first. New players, click it, toggle, 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 right click, turn on. That's how you interact with light switches. Um, so we're going to build a base. We're going to try to get some gas, get some tools, get some food, take it out to the wilderness with us after we have a little snooze here. Right click, look at the uh, sleeping quality for this bed is average, which means we might wake up with a bit of neck pain, bit of back pain. I think it means it will also take us more time to fully recover. Uh, fully recover our energy, our tiredness. Uh, we're going to sleep till about 8 a.m. We're in a multiplayer server of one, so that uh, means I got to wake up manually. I mean, you sleep forever if you don't wake up. What a statement. You sleep forever if you don't wake up. It's like, thanks, Captain Obvious. Thank you for that. Uh, pool cue. What's the damage on that? It's not great. Pool cue. Long blunt weapon. Good reach, as with most long blunts. Um... We might come back for more booze before we head out, for a proper head out, but today, I think that's all we're going to do. Um, we've got this, oh, we got Billy the Club here. I'm not talking about the zombie, I'm talking about the short blunt weapon at his side. His side? Their side. I don't know. Give me that. Oh, actually, I pressed space to cancel because I want to equip that. I don't have a holster yet. I'm going to wear that. That will let me... Tuck a gun into the right there. And this is my spanking new ride, which is going to contain my garbage bag with nothing in it. There we go. Keeping my hands free, keeping my damage up. I'm going to leave the car here uh, because it is almost out. Well, you know what? It is almost out of gas. And if I don't find a jerry can, I'm not going to be able to gas that thing up unless. I take it to a gas station. I do believe there's a gas station here. I think that's what that green one was. It's either that or it's this. Let's go find out. Eat a little bit of this uh, charity soup we found. We, uh, oh, I think you can eat in a car, but you cannot enter a car when eating. That's fine. Something I just learned the other day. You, apparently, I haven't tried this yet. Maybe we'll try it today. Apparently, you can attack melee weapon attack while you're in a car from the window you just have to make sure that you smash out the window you're trying to attack from i don't want to smash out any windows today this car's had a rough enough time as it is but i do want to try that sometime because that sounds freaking awesome screws around with your buds and whacking some heads while you go some undead zed heads all right now the fuel pump on 99 percent of vehicles i think is on the left hand side so i'm going to bring this around the left hand side of the vehicle here a little bit of distance turn it off get out of the car run away now we've got some work to do in this place so we are going to oh we're gonna press the wrong button no i want to eat this eat up a power onion maximum offensive capability uh we are going to get this nightstick 
some handy belt slot so we can summon it when needed, such as now. Enter kill mode. Standing on a chest, keep him down, keep him pinned. Trying to knock a few others down, couldn't do it. See if I get lucky with some knockdowns. One, this one. Alright, alright. That, that, that's me getting sloppy. I've just come back, I just had sushi for lunch. It was great, but you know what? I might be having a bit of a food coma situation. I lost my edge, lost my focus. Shove, push, smack, push, shove. Good. Down. Check your back. Repeat till they're all down. I love, love, love how with the new animation, well, sorry, the new models, you actually see the decomposition quite clearly. This one's got. I was gonna say she's got a bandage. Uh, sorry, some skull showing through. She doesn't. I think she's just got a bandaged head. Oh my god, these beasties are hungry. One more. Done. Okay, checking for gear after I check. Check my six. Check the backside. All right. Uh, you might have seen there was a notebook on that zombie. Uh, we might do this eventually, but just so you know, you can. Uh, I'm gonna take this. Sure. I'm gonna wear it with the hood up. Why is the hood up? I don't know. Looks cool. Tell me this isn't a look. Tell me this doesn't look cool. Uh, anyway, that journal. So you can write in those books. Uh, it's nice if you don't play super often, but you want to keep a master plan in mind. You can actually write in the journals with a pen or pencil. Uh, it enables your keyboard. And uh, just keep track of your plans. Keep track of the items you're looking for. Helps you remember what's going on when you load into an old save. I used to do that. But I kind of stopped playing. And now we're here. So you'll hear me make comments about new model stuff, new animation, new control stuff. And that's because... Wow! That's because I'm coming back to this game after several years away from it. Played through Winter on the old style, played through Year on the old style, and this new one is already so much more satisfying. We're only on day three here, but so much has happened, um, such as getting thirsty. All right, I mentioned in the last episode, I picked up an orange soda bottle. I didn't tell you why. Here's why. It's not for the orange soda, although that's nice. Um, we actually just want this for a standard water bottle because we haven't found one of those yet. Now, I did mention that there are items such as saucepans, pots. You can fill those uh, fill those up with water, carry them around for water, and automatically drink. Downside about all those things is they're heavy, right? They're metal. So I'm going to carry this water bottle instead. It doesn't weigh as much. It still carries water. doesn't weigh as much. I'm checking for bathroom zombies. If you've seen them, you know what I'm talking about. They're the ones hiding in the stalls. Sneak up on you when you're not... Not, uh, paying attention. I'm in the habit of, or I like to be in the habit of closing doors when I'm not in a room. Uh, more doors just means more obstacles between me and the undead. Okay, we're just grabbing some chips. I've got a car now, so you're going to see I'm looting a little more heavily than I would have once done. I uh, also see we've got some new Moodle up here. We got moist because we are slightly damp. Is it rain or is it sweat? Uh, answer is it's sweat, because I'm wearing this hoodie. So why am I wearing the hoodie? He's washing up, I'll tell you. Uh, we've got some greens now. I press P, open protection window. This is a great window to keep track of, because it's going to save your life. Red, bad. You get bit or scratched there, you're probably going to die. Uh, green is pretty good, though. You've got a good chance, I've got a good chance here, of getting scratched, for example, on my torso, my upper body areas, and pretty good chance that that's just going to tear my clothes and I'll get away free. Okay? Bites, obviously, not so, not so easy. It's going to take a lot of work to get those bite defenses up, but it can be done. Um, it can be done with tailoring. Now we're going to take a little bit of bleach. In case, you know, the unthinkable happens and we've got to take our own way out of this. But I also took a sponge. So bleach lets you clean the blood off of walls and floors. You just need to have a bottle of bleach and a... Sure. Bottle of bleach and a sponge or towel in your inventory. You can right click and you'll have a remove blood option. For example, I'm just going to demo that now. This is like kind of, it's not important, but it's very satisfying. I'll just demo it now because if you didn't know this, you're going to want to know this. Uh, 
how do I how do I do it? Oh my god. I did it wrong. Can I not use a sponge for this? Dear lord. Unless I have to actually right click on a bloody splotch. Let's find us a splotch here. Right click. No. Alright. I'm missing something. I must need a towel. I did this just the other night on uh got a multiplayer server going with some friends, just local, you know, non-dedicated server setup. But uh yeah, apparently, however I did blood, it was not like that. Just know, if you get a bunch of zombies in your house, you fight them, you kill them, you've bathed your place in blood, you can recover that. So no worries there. Uh, I'm going to read this map. This is Riverside, okay? Uh, the maps are kind of useful because they have a legend here that'll tell you what these buildings are, approximately. So, you know, hospitality... Uh, is not what I want. I want a hospital. Medical. There it is. I'm looking for medical tiles up in Riverside. I, I don't see any. So I guess I've, Riverside doesn't have a doctor or a hospital. That's okay. Click on the left hand side, the map. Even if you're not going to use that map anymore, if I zoom out, if I zoom out, boom, this is, uh, this is Riverside. Okay. So it's basically revealed that part of the world map for me. And this is something new too, this map. God, I love the new map setup because it used to be back in the day you didn't have that right so you had to rely on two things oh first off water bottle 0.8 full i have a this water bottle i think was also 0.8 full 0.24 i think i think the water bottles carry more water that's a hunch i don't actually remember that for sure if you remember just let us know in the comments but i think water bottles carry more or something. So swap that out. Anyways, maps. Used to be you had to remember everything. Uh, personally, you, the human player, had to remember where everything is. Um, which I didn't really like because we've got Rolando Jennings here. And Rolando lives here, right? This is his home. This is where he grew up. He should know where things are. So to have this character who doesn't know what's across the street, it kind of broke my immersion. You know, it's, it makes sense. What we had to do back then is um, great guy, uh, great person. I actually don't know anything about them, but uh, blind coder. Okay, this is a mod uh, contributed a number of mods to PZ, and most significantly had the Project Zomboid map, which you can find online. It's just a website. It's got all the map chunks loaded onto it, and uh, you can see the whole map, which is brilliant, beautiful. Loved it. Used it a lot. Um, one thing, I'll show you what I'm doing. Park the car. Uh, left side has the gas uh, gas tank, so I'm going to gas it up using this gas pump. I'm in range. I don't know what the range is. I just know you got to be close enough that you can walk between and not too far away. And then you can right-click your car and hit refuel from gas pump. And this is great. We've still got energy in the game. we still got power, so we can still use this gas pump. I'm going to gas all the way up. Anyways, so the map. The map is great because... Now that we have an in-game minimap as of like this build, I think, uh, the, the, this major build release, um, it's just that it's a little better. You quickly get a sense of where things are, and if you forget, you can always go back and check your map immediately in-game, uh, which I think just was a better reflection of... Oh, do you remember? I actually forgot something. I'm going to pull out a bit. But I said there was something else. Yeah, jerry cans, right? I'll show you why after. But anyways, we got this minimap. And that f fits the flavor, I think, of, you know, you're the survivor, you're in this place, and you kind of know the lay of the land. Maybe um, places that are further away, you might not know so well. Like Riverside, that map I picked up, for example. I'm not from there. Why would I know it? But, uh, so I like it. I like that you don't start with that spawned in. Now, I just put this towel out because I'm trying to clean blood. But I still cannot. All right, I've... Completely forgot, and this isn't even a new thing. I've completely forgotten how this worked. This is not new technology. This is not a new feature. I've just forgotten. So help a brother out. I need your support. How do I clean blood? I could look it up, and honestly, I probably will. But in general, I try to avoid doing that. I try to avoid looking things up in this game. Um, just because... Just because I like how much there is to discover. Now, you might love it, you might hate it. This game has so much depth to it. Um, do not have anything cool up here? So I'm holding right-click. I'm dragging to the edge of my screen to refocus my camera. 
over there. I don't see any zombies with cool gear, so I'm just going to leave them. Um, the depth, the complexity, I like discovering stuff. I think this is something I have to, or you would have to enable if you're having a server. You can get a mini-map in the bottom right. Maybe you press M? No, M takes out your full map. Um, but you should be able to hover on the top left here. There's this map icon. On some servers, you can hover over that and a second map icon will pop out. And you click that to toggle on or off. Toggle your mini-map in the bottom right corner. Which is really helpful to see uh, where you are in relation to what you need. And when I say that, actually, let me show you that. Let's press M. Okay, M, uh, hotkey, shortcut for your map. Uh, do it again. Oh, you hear that machine gun? It means nothing. Okay, there's not actually a machine gun going on. Um, I'm just going to mark this. Oh, I don't... Okay, I need a pen. I need a pencil so I can show you how to mark the map. For now, I'm just going to take all the alcohol I can in this bag. Because we're going home, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls lovely people of the audience. We're taking Rolando back to home. We said he's from a quiet neighborhood. We cleared it out a bit last time because uh, he spawned in a home with high walls and few zombies. We're gonna go back there with all of this liquid happiness. I don't know if that's a problematic statement, but uh, liquid happiness it is because, look at that, unhappiness, minus 20. That's gonna be very important later, especially as we get into winter. We might find ourselves at home more often. The more you're home, the more unhappy you get. You get bored, sorry, which becomes unhappiness. Uh, so about that little machine gun you heard. That's probably good. About the machine gun you heard. Oh, wait, snacks? No snacks, but we'll take the cold, cold beers. Why not? So that machine gun is a random noise event. They're going to happen frequently. There's no actual physical representation of them in the game. That is to say there's no machine gun. If you hear screaming, there's there's actually no one screaming. It is a trick of the mind, but it will draw zombies. So that's probably what brought these ones over here. Might have uh, heard that machine gun. Oh, I was not talking about this one before. Little Miss Head Bandage here. Have we seen her? Anyway, what we're gonna do now, though, look at this trunk. Thirty-six capacity. That's uh, that's pretty good. I guess because it's a hatchback, maybe. Um, I'm just going to dump a bunch of stuff in the back. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to do the same. You can sort your inventories just by clicking the category thing up here. So sorting by category, sorting by type. This will sort alphabetically by item name. This will sort alphabetically by category, such as food. Um, oh, what am I doing right now? Oh, I'm putting them on the floor. Space bar to stop it. Click and drag from the floor tile into the trunk. That's what I want going to shift click so I held click at the top boom click at the bottom while holding shift boom right click and you can place oh, select your active destination container and then right click put in container trunk I'm going to put all that in it is happening pretty fast because we do have dexterous so pull that up we have dexterous taken which allows for faster inventory transfer very helpful for stuff like this. Now, obviously, there's no time pressure, right? No one's coming to bite my brains out. Um, but as a player, I I don't want to spend all day moving items around. Sorry, that is actually exactly what I want to do. I love just organizing the safe house when we have one. But uh, waiting for items to transfer itself is, is not very fun. So let's see if we can get home all right. We need to actually find a pen or pencil so I can mark the safe house. It's it's not imperative that I mark this safe house, the one that we're heading back to, because uh, it's Muldrow. I feel I know pretty uh, pretty well this place, Muldrow, just uh, as a player. I've spent some time in it. When we start to get to the other cities, though, I, I haven't been to some of them in a very long time, so I don't remember the layouts. I also don't like... Now that we have the mini-maps, I don't like going online to the website, you know, finding that Blind Coders uh, map project. Uh, just because, I don't know, it, it breaks my immersion. I don't want to keep saying it like that, but it does. Um, I like focusing on the game at hand. Alright, we're on better roads. I think that gives us a little bit of better speed. So when you're driving off-road, just don't. You're going to slow down. It's going to wreck your tires. Uh, you're going to lose air pressure. Air pressure, by the way, super easy to lose, super easy to get back. You just need to find a tire pump. Just keep your eyes open for that. If you see one, let me know, and maybe I'll see your comment and head back to it in a later video. 
Um, for now, I don't think we've encountered one. We've got a full gas tank, so remember, you got your gas. Your, your dashboard here has very useful information. It is relevant. Um, just gonna pull it from that map. Let's see where we are. Press C. Okay, I think we're a little off track. Oh goodness, did we? We must have spawned way up there. Okay, no, going the right way, just further than I thought. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. So it must not have been important. Let's just keep driving. Press F if you're in a car, or if you have a flashlight or a lighter, press F to toggle your illumination. Try not to hit zombies. Oops. <laughs> Try not to hit zombies because it will damage your hood, and uh, worse than that, it will damage your engine. Now see how they're all coming down this way? My engine is noisy. My engine is drawing attention. That is not good. That is a necessary evil at the moment. It's a pretty narrow road, so I'm not going to go that way. Go up here, maybe. Oh, sorry, my Discord is lighting up. Sorry if you can hear that. All right. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord for this game, uh, I suggest that you get in there. It's a good time, good people, lots of tips going around. If you're into modding, it's a good community there for that. Um, I. I don't know, I fart around on C-sharp, I don't really know what's going on with Lua, but uh, this game is uh, obviously super moddable, and you can kind of, if there's a mod that you like, or is related to something you would like, just get in there, open up their code, tinker around with it, see how it works, it's a good time. What am I doing with my life? Check the map again. Okay, actually, this is, this is good. We want to go up, we want to turn left here, and we're we're almost done, which is good. We're getting tired. Whoa, like I said, the um, perception radius, or perception cone, does get smaller the more tired we are. And when you're driving, that's a bad thing. So like you saw, that car back there just popped out at me. I think we go straight. A uh, car back there just popped out at me, and had I been going any faster, I probably would have hit it. Thankfully, I took slow driver, or Sunday driver, which is as much a benefit as it is a curse because it will save you in moments like that. So this is it. Uh, this is the neighborhood that we spawned into. Uh, Rolando's house is just just around the river bend. Okay, this is, I apologize. I apologize for the way I behave. All right, when you're holding backwards, I'm just backing up, but I'll show you this. You can see my perception radius actually flip to the back side of the car, right? So he's doing some strong shoulder checking, uh, checking the back window. Oh, I'm trying to drive through a tree. You know what? Can I not get through here? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I cannot. All right, so I'll tell you what. He's super tired. We're just going to... This is something you might actually want to do intentionally, so... I'm sorry, what is going on? Something you might want to do intentionally, take your car, park it not at your base, especially if you don't really have much for fortification. Because like you saw, zombies, if they hear this car, they're going to come for this car. So don't park it at your base, park it a little ways away from your base. Turn it off, click the ignition. You can click the ignition again to take the key out. I'm just going to keep the key in there. However, the car is off, you hear that. You also see my lights are still on. So I can click headlights or I can press F turn those lights off. Don't forget to turn off your lights, okay? Just like real life. This is one of those pedantic realism moments. That's the kind of thing that gets you in Project Zomboid. So this was Rolando's... Is that really his name? Rolando? It really is. What a, what a strong name. Rolando. He sounds like he's the protagonist in a action fantasy romance novel. Anyways, Great spawn house, right? Got walls on all sides. Um, we could make a proper base out of this. It's a little closer to town than I'd usually go. And yet, and yet, it's uh, not as close as some, and it comes with the walls. It comes with a good distance from the highway. Uh, there's a lot going for it. So we're going to eat a little bit of food. We're going to rest up. We're going to probably call it here. And uh, depending on what day of the week it is, today... Uh, after today, there will soon be a new... Yeah, sure, we'll eat that. There will soon be a new dev blog coming out. So if you're not following those, every Thursday... Sorry, every other Thursday now, they're releasing a 
uh, dev update for this game. Tell you what they've been up to, what's coming down the pipe, that kind of thing. Feedback that they've been receiving, stuff like that. You can view it on, well, I'll put up some links to this video. You can view it on the Project Zomboid forums or their official website. Um, they usually post it up on their website first. Sometimes they actually forget to post it on their uh, forums. They forget until like the next day. So if you're ever looking on the forums, you can't find it, check out the website. It's going to be there. It's going to be under news. And that will, it's exciting. You know, if you're still waiting on some things, we know they've got NPCs coming. They've got animals coming, uh, animal companions and hunting. Um, I heard a gun. Did you hear a gun? And some end game materials. So let's talk about end game. We're trying to get to winter with Ronaldo. We're trying to get through winter, maybe into uh, a full year's time. So we'll make it to July 9th of the next year, if we can, if it's still a good time. Um, but for that after winter phase, the devs have said they're putting in more kind of society building stuff, rebuilding society. I think they're talking uh, windmills. I think they're talking industry a little bit, uh, a little bit of. Uh, merchant stuff. I, I'm not sure the... Oh, oh, hello. I hear you. I'm coming to get you. You! You are mine. I'm Rolando! Aha! You cannot escape me. Get up! Rolando. Oh no! Sorry, I got caught up in the heat of the moment. Yeah, we're going to call it there. We'll see what's coming down. I'll uh, move through the game. I want to show you, you know, every moment of Rolando's life. Not because it's such a riveting watch, um, but because while we're playing, we can talk about some things. Talk about the updates, talk about the history of the game. Again, I've been playing it not so recently. Uh, my four or five hundred hours are banked uh, from earlier, much earlier releases. Um, so let's learn some new stuff next time. Let's talk about some old stuff next time. Until then, uh, goodbye, stay alive, and uh, take care in the end times. Rolando out. Rolando!